My name is uh, Penn Gillette. I am more than half by size of the Comedy Magic team, Penn and Teller. And as you'll see beside me, there is no Teller. So I'm going to um, recreate him with a cookie. We got a show on the CW called Penn and Teller Fool Us. Greatest magician in the world come on and they do a trick once. We haven't seen it before. We try to figure out how it's done. If we can figure it out, they lose. We can't figure it out, they come and perform in the show with us. I'm gonna pick this cookie here, not because it looks anything like Teller to start with, but just because this is the kind of cookie I like. So I'm on a very strict diet. I am a uh, hardcore vegan, no animal products, but also only whole plants. But when I'm working, which this is considered working, I eat whatever I want. So this is my chance to have a cookie for the first time in probably a year. So as far as making it look like Teller, I don't care. What I think this cookie mostly needs is for me to eat a caramel. I uh, lost over 100 pounds four years ago, which is kind of magic because if you go more than two years, it's considered successful. Two weeks I went on a mono diet, which means you just eat the same thing, which helps one psychologically to get over the habits of eating. And all I ate was potatoes. Why potatoes? because they're funny. After two weeks of just eating potatoes, a lot of your habituation to salt and uh, fat and advertising, <laughs> same things, go away. I used to be able to eat like a bag of these. And now, time tastes very good. Start out with blue, tell her likes blue very much. But because I'm not very good at representational, I'm gonna do symbolic. I'm gonna look at this peace sign while I'm having a Tootsie Roll. Oh, that's wicked better than the caramel. Jimmy's. Notice that none of that went on the cookie. I'm just decorating the table. We have all the greatest magician in the world on our show. But what we did this season, we turned the tables. And we stood on stage and were judged by someone else, David Copperfield. It was terrible. I looked over at Teller. First time in 20 years I've seen this. Teller's trembling like this. I mean, like this, really. His hands go, I'm trying to pick up a deck of cards. hands like this. And I had, had to keep asking for water. We were terrified putting, getting a taste of our own medicine. We have a um, video game that's actually outside of the realm of video games. So when you first come over to someone's house and they've just gotten a VR set up, what they want to do is show you how that works. Which means you've got your friend in the house, you've got your VR set up, and you put it on their head, they can't see, they can't hear. So this game is all set up as a toolbox for you to steal dignity and in some cases money from your people you pretend to love. The inspiration for this comes from the fact that we've done books and videotapes and DVDs in the past as a tool where you work outside of it. So people think they're just doing the VR experience, but actually in the world, the friend is monkeying with them. We call the, the VR Pen and Teller VR, frankly, unfair, unkind, unnecessary, and underhanded which abbreviates to F U, U U, and U. M&Ms, I used to love these. Let's see how these taste. Better than the caramel, not as good as a Tootsie Roll. We do a master class where we teach people how to do magic. And we were thrown out of the magic castle for giving away magic secrets. This is considered kind of sort of okay because we're actually teaching. Magicians don't really have any sort of code. That's a fiction. And not giving away secrets is a pretty good idea in magic, but once in a while, it's a fun idea to do. In the master class, we not only teach people how to do tricks and how to get the basics of magic to perform magic, but also people who might not ever want to perform magic get a chance to learn a little bit about the philosophy of magic, which is very heavily involved in empathy, and the theory of mind. Seeing yourself really from another person's point of view, which is uh, very important in literature and in art and to be a good human being. See how the bit of honey does. That's good. Here's a caramel. I just want to show you how, how this is done. So here's caramel. And you just place it in this hand like this. It stays there. That's not magic at all. Now if you want to learn magic, put it in your hand, place it there like this, and vanish it. Now people think it's in this hand, but it isn't. I dropped it on the floor. Let's put some eyes on here. It's a lot like, exactly like Teller. And all you gotta do is some sprinkles. Oh, that's good. Good, that's good. Oh yeah, now that looks just like Teller. Now we need a little bit of pumpkin spice. Oh, it's beautiful. And let's do the recapitulation of the peace sign over the top. Gold, oh, that's nice. I gotta tell you, I have missed my calling because this is wicked good. Oh, look at that. La-da-dee, la-da-da, la-da-dee. Oh, wise guy. Take that, telly, you rat bastard. Rub your fan. 
Oh, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present for you Teller. And while I'm eating this Tootsie Roll, keep in mind Penn and Teller fool us on the CW, 8 o'clock on Monday, and then it's shown again on Wednesday at some time. Check out our masterclass, masterclass.com, learn magic. And also, our new VR game, Pen and Teller VR. Frankly, unfair, unkind, unnecessary, and underhanded. F-U, you, you, and you. And Teller, F-U.